We're going to inoculate hardwood logs with mushroom spawn today. Now these logs are about 36 inches long, 3 to 6 inches in diameter, uh, all hardwood, so you want to choose uh, hardwood species. Oaks are best if you've got it, but you can use hornbeam and hard maple, uh, sweet gum, uh, any, any sort of hardwood is okay. Ideally, you pick hardwood that's got relatively thick bark. So the thicker the bark, the better. It's going gonna, it's gonna to last longer. It's going to hold the moisture in a little bit better. The, ideally, when you, from the time that you cut the tree to the time that you inoculate the logs, it can't be more than a month. So the problem is if you, you, know, you cut these live trees, you section up the logs, and you let your logs sit around for two months, you run the risk of other fungus starting to populate the, the logs. And obviously, we don't, you don't want that. We're going to inoculate these logs with shiitake spawn. So and these are, these are dowels. So these are uh, pl plug spawn. You can also get sawdust spawn, which is a little bit different. But uh, you, know, you, get, you can get the same mushrooms that way. So plug spawn, basically what we're going to do is we're going to drill into the log about an inch deep with a 5 16th bit. And you're going to want to start your pattern two inches from the end of the log. So that first one's going to be here, and then the next one's going to be six inches away, and the next one's going to be six inches away. So we'll make the cut right on down. Okay. So once you get the first once you get the first run of uh, holes drilled on the perimeter, on the, on the diameter, you're not going to do a whole six inches. It's going to be two and a half inches away. And what you want to do is, so if I've got a, 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 a plug here and a plug here, you're going to want to put another one probably right in the middle of it here. And so you'll alternate. So what we did is we um, we put a little piece of tape, got a got a five sixteenth bit, put a little piece of tape, and it's almost an inch. I mean, it's actually a hair over an inch because my thinking is that you'll go you, you if if you put it right at an inch, this will just, you'll just keep hitting the tape and sort of pushing it back. So I start a stop like a an inch and sixteenths, and um, that makes it a little easier to know get the exact depth. So we've got a hole here, two inches from the end, another hole six inches, six inches, six inches, six inches, and six inches. Now the next holes we got, we're gonna go, so we're gonna go kind of a triangle pattern here. So in between each, in between each hole, we're gonna put another hole. And this one's gonna be, there'll be two and a half inches from this first line that we did. Now we're gonna put in the shiitake spawn. So just these little got these wooden dowels so this that's basically it it's just a little wooden dowel so just get it started and hammer it in so you can you can set up these plugs you can just easier way to do it is just put them in and then and just go through and pound them in a little bit quicker we're keeping the wax melted and warm with a just a little crock pot. Pretty simple plug, crock pot. And basically we've got a little dauber here and uh, dip it in the wax, dip it in the melted wax, and then basically just cover the light coating over the plug. So pretty simple. All right. Not super complicated. Basically what we want to do is we want to keep in the moisture, protect the plug spawn. The hardwood logs are all drilled, uh, filled with mushroom spawn, uh, covered with, covered and sealed in wax. And the final thing we need to do is we need to stack them in a shady place. So for me, 
The shadiest place on my property is actually right up against the north side of my house. And um, so this little microclimate is shady for about 10 months out of the year. So for two months out of the year, which is basically July and August when the sun is directly over the head, overhead, I'll need to actually cover this cover these logs with a shade cloth. But I stacked these in a lean-to type stacking. Now I've got, what I did was I put one log uh, horizontally here and I actually propped that log up with a couple of pieces of stone. And then I leaned six logs going lengthways along that one log. And then at the, at the end of that at the end of those logs, I put I propped up another log on those on the end of those, and then I ran logs on top of that, and so on and so forth. 